In this video, we will go over how to set up a shaft motor with our Titan controller. Remember, the Titan can work with many different types of motors, so please check out our other tutorial videos. First let's connect a shaft motor with the incremental encoder. The Titan can also take in digital hall signals. Let's power up the controller and check communication using USB. Go to the motor setup window. Open the motor database wizard. Click consent and go to the next screen. Select the three phase linear brushless motor. Enter the motor manufacturer, motor name, voltage, rated current and max current for the motor. Then input the magnet pair distance and the encoder resolution for the motor. For this motor, the magnet pole pitch is 30 millimeters and the encoder resolution is 1 micron. Here you can see the encoder count and the power supply voltage. You can move the motor and see the encoder count changing. Next, we will perform the auto detect routine. Make sure the motor doesn't have any load and is on a stable surface. Let's move the motor stage to the middle, as the first test involves moving the motor to find the encoder direction. First, the Titan will check for the encoder direction. Next, input the soft limit values. For the negative value, we will set the position to zero when it is near the negative end of the shaft, and set the positive limit to the position near the positive end of the shaft. The electrical and mechanical parameters will then be determined. Once the testing is done, save the parameters to the database files so that we can reuse the database when using the same motor with other Titans. Now we will test motion of the motor from the test drive window. To test motion, first enable the motor. You can see that the motor is enabled and in position. Here you can try different jogging or position moves to test the motion of the motor. Note that the soft limits are enabled from the previous detection routine. Especially for linear motors, make sure the position and current error detection is enabled to avoid damaging the system. Please check out our tutorial video on the test drive. Once you attach a load to the motor, you will want to tune the system parameters from the tuning window. To learn how to do this, see our other tutorials on tuning. Go to the configuration window. Here you can see various configuration settings. Exit out of configuration and open the parameter window. Here you have the full summary of the setup which includes the motor database values and the full system configuration values. Once everything is finalized, a store to flash can be performed to save all settings to the Titan. You can also save the system settings to a file so that they can be loaded to another Titan with the same setup. Please check out our other tutorials on how to set up other motor types. Thank you for watching and happy servoing.